Welcome fellow board gamers to an episode of Quick Review. Today it's just me, Tim, going over the game Dominion uh, by Rio Grande Games. This game is for two to four players and takes about 30 minutes. The first part, instructions. Uh, they do have some flavor text here uh, to let you um, kind of get into the, the whole aspect of controlling your own Dominion. Uh, for the game, that's kind of the, the basic story is that you're a small time royalty kind of person and you have your own dominion. Except right now it's it's very small, it's like a cottage size farm or something like that. And the objective of the game is to grow it and grow your deck basically, which is which is what they call uh, dominion. And the instructions are really well laid, play, uh, laid out. They have, uh, they start off with going over what the contents of the box are, uh, the different cards, and oh, what the different uh, text on the card means. Which is pretty nice, so you'll need to go over that in order to really understand the game. Uh, then they'll go over preparation, how to sort the, the cards from where you have it. When you first get it, everything is in like five decks. Um, and you'll have to sort it all out. So there's no... Um, it, it doesn't come pre-organized for you. So that's why they have this preparation here. Uh, it tells you not only how to um, organize the cards in the box, it also tells you uh, how to lay it out for the game, your first game. Uh, the next part is it goes over the play of the game and then how how to win the game and stuff like that. Um, it has nice neat notes here on the, on the border. Uh, I've noticed that these are kind of like little summaries and stuff. Uh, that's what I personally uh, referenced a lot was those. The first game is going to be um, a little bit slow as you kind of get used to deck building games if you're not used to deck building games. Um, and also, everybody's going to be reading each one of the cards. Also, very nice for this, if especially if you're not used to deck building games um, or board games in general, this has a what your first game, first few turns of your first uh, game is going to be like, basically laid out, and it it basically covers uh, the every situation you're going to run into in your first game where you you don't understand what's going on. So if you ever get confused, um, actually I recommend if you, the first time you play it, just go ahead and, and follow um, follow along with this for the first few hands then reset the decks and play for yourself. Um, that makes it real nice and easy. That way everybody's got an idea um, of everything. The gameplay um, revolves around your, your deck and your hand. So your deck is called Dominion, and your hand is, is just what you have uh, that you're playing that turn. Every turn, it's gonna go where you, you play the cards in your hand, um, you get one action, one buy, uh, so that means all the coins in your hand are going to be used to buy something. Uh, the coins that are added by any actions you play um, are going to be added to that coins. And basically, the buy is the most important part of, of the turn because you're going to be adding to your deck through the buy. So you'll have five cards in your hand, and then you'll play different actions. Some actions may give you more actions. Some actions may give you more buys. Some actions may give you more cards and other actions may actually give you more money uh, for that turn. So you'll need to play everything in your hand, um, but you're limited by the one action and one buy unless the card adds to it. Uh, so then uh, what, at the end of your turn, you take everything and you dump it in your discard. And that's it. Um, that's your turn, because then you, you draw five more cards and you wait for your next turn. That's the basic mechanic, is playing everything in your hand and then discarding whatever's left and then pulling five more cards. So it's all about that. You're going to be adding to that deck because you're going to start off with seven coins and three estates, which are victory points, just one single uh, victory points. So that's the whole gameplay. Um, all the, the actual fun and excitement and um, different parts of the game are all based on the text on the cards. Uh, so the, those extra rules that they set in. So each card is what adds the flavor to the game. Uh, as far as components and pieces go, um, each one, one of these action cards has a cost and has your 
the rules for this particular card and has the title and, and nice little artwork. I gotta say, these cards are nice and sturdy, um, but they're not like, these These are basic cards. They're not really um, like super durable cards. Uh, I know a lot of people go ahead and get card sleeves for these because you shuffle them a lot. Because the whole point is to cycle through your deck so that you can use all your actions and to get to the coins in your deck so you can buy more cards. So you'll be shuffling a lot. So if you play this game um, repeatedly, you'll need to get card sleeves. Um, I don't believe these cards will hold up very long. Now, as far as the box goes, this is one of the coolest organization things I've ever seen in the box. It comes with this little insert here um, that you can put in. You don't have to have it in here, but I did. I went ahead and organized it by the, the default. And these little things are labels that tell you what deck to put in each one of this. So during the game, you'll, you won't access, access this box, but you will, um, at the beginning of the game, pull 10 of these kingdom decks from the box. And if you've already organized it and kept it organized with these labels, then all you've got to do is go through here, look for it, and pull it out. Keeps it really simple, keeps it really organized. That way you're not spending 20 minutes setting up the game. Uh, you spend five minutes setting up the game and the next 30 minutes playing it and it's a lot of fun. So overall, I really enjoyed the game. This is nice for um, people that don't like killing and war and strategy and all that stuff. They really just like card games and they like like the card games just throw them um, a little extra flavor. This is for that. Um, I know I play it with my wife because she doesn't like killing or being attacked or anything. Um, also note, uh, as far as that goes, there are these um, curse cards you can get that are negative victory points and they sit in your deck so they make it hard for you to actually um, play. Um, so we actually removed these and the witch which uses these curse cards. Uh, because in a two player game and stuff it's it's kind of unfair against one person because it, you'll just end up just slamming their whole deck with curse cards um, but overall I did enjoy it um, and I give it a green die alright thank you for watching follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and uh, watch for upcoming reviews